Oh, guys, welcome back. So Lucky's like, give them the real deal. It's gonna blow their minds. Okay, okay. I know why Odin wanted to poke around in the New Age. And I know why Loki did too. There's something we haven't really told you. <laughs> and other people are like, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. If we lost subscribers with gentle Odin, we're about to lose all of you. It's been lovely knowing you people. You've been very sweet and supportive. I live in a town that... It's like the the happy version of a certain town that has a saga going on. I mean, if there is anything out there, it has been cited in this town. I live in a place that, in this tri... There's like a, not a tri-county area, but like, it's a triangle. No, it's five. It's five. There is... I, I know what this is going to sound like. I know what it's going to sound like, but... Basically, we live in a Stephen King novel, and I got pretty much is believed that there is are five vampires that live in the area, and I don't mean the gothic kind that you know go on you know talk shows and somebody offers to shoot them and they decide they're not vampires. I mean like <laughs> vampires, and um, there are Bigfoot in the area. I'm, I'm not even remotely joking with you. People take this dead serious. And Loki's like, how come we haven't talked about this before? Because we would like some viewers, that is why. <laughs> and, you know, there are UFO sightings in the area. And we've we've had them. And I thought, well, oh, maybe the government's just testing stuff. But I've also seen, like, all this other crazy stuff, like fairies and everything. And Loki's like, we're opening the door. They get to see it all. And we have just seen some far out stuff in this area. And, you know, as we were doing this, guys, new age thing. I I meditate all the time, so this just accelerated it. Um, This guy might have been joking around. He might have made all this stuff up and think, ha ha ha, these, these silly new agers believe in UFOs. We we had some interesting interesting visitors that had been here in the summer and I was like, Do I need to go back on medication? Look, he's like, No, you're fine. Um, because it was the, the God experience. I've actually I've been on medication for depression in the past, and I can tell you the difference between a hallucination and something you're seeing with your mind's eye. You know a hallucination when you see it, and it's like, oh, that's not real. It could still startle you, but you know the difference between something you're seeing because you're on interesting medicine and something that's, you know, on, say, the spiritual spectrum is what we're saying. So we've been having the weirdest troop of light beings, I guess. I don't even have words for some of this stuff. Angels, aliens, all this other stuff. Trooping back and forth. Odin's gone vegetarian on us. Once we're in an animal sanctuary now, like farm animal and sanctuary, I said, well, you get some of our outer space friends to help us with this. <laughs> we'll do it. I won't care. I came boop, 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 back here. <laughs> Can we have mashed potatoes? Actually, we have some. Those would be pretty good. <laughs> Loki's excited. Loki is UFO crazy with me. He always has been. He's always been, you know... I went through a period of my life where I had really strong belief and then, you know, I was struggling to hold on to Christianity with a death grip. So I got rid of all my books. I wish I'd kept them. And it doesn't matter if you have the books or anything, because if you'd open that door at one point, they will eventually come, come find you. And not like in a scary way, not like a scary way, kind of like the new age Karen Carpenter. But it was, it was another group that did that before about, you know, calling occupants, you know, um, of extraordinary craft, um, that way, like the nice ones, the nice ones, not the ones that are going to suck your brains out with a Slurpee. Those ones don't exist so far as I know. Um, and it's been really interesting. It's been really interesting. And it's been interesting because it's kind of like this activity's picking up because they were all waiting on Odin to go vegetarian, and Odin went, and Freya followed, and, you know, um, like, the rest are following, and they know that the biggest struggle is going to be for me and for Loki, because Loki is, like, I'm keeping my bacon, right? Like, nobody's taking it off of me, right? And nobody's taking your bacon, babe. Nobody's taking your other stuff, but, you know, the more we can do this during the week, 
And, you know, believe me, Loki and I looked at each other. I said, do you think we're just not getting enough nutrients and we're seeing stuff? And he's like, no, you're, you're doing good. And, you know, um, cause I was vegetarian vegan before, um, I know how to eat to survive. You can do it for years and we're, we're still having, you know, meatless Monday, but then tuna Tuesday. Today we had black bean burgers and we're having all this other good stuff. So we're getting plenty of nutrients, but it's been really weird because it's like there is something opening. Now, I was I was kind of skeptical myself. I was like, ah, I've just been watching all this new age stuff. And every day of the week, you would swear today's day, today's the big shift. But I said, it really feels like it's it's shifting. You know, I, I live in an area where I, I've got experiences where, you know, we're supposed to have Bigfoot in the area. And UFOs and everything else, like I said, and it's no, it, it doesn't even surprise people in this area. People are like, eh, yep, saw them, saw them last week. My parents have seen stuff, I've seen stuff, ex friends saw stuff. There are people all in the area seeing stuff, and they're just like, mm -hmm. and you know, um, and you get a sense when you see it, it's not, it's not of this world, it's not like the government came up with a nifty new thing. And, you know, nobody even reports it because it's like, well, if they want to come hang out, and as long as they're not doing anything, they're not vacuuming up cows or anything, nobody cares. Um, I, I, and I get the idea that, you know, the encounters I've had and my parents had, that if they did anything, they'd be liberating the cows. They'd be like, no, you're not eating this cow. I'm taking them home. Um, so it's been it's been really wild to watch Odin evolve and Freya evolving. and. Odin, not Odin, Thor and Loki are actually the ones that are trying to be the ballast. They're like, okay, guys, we're we're going to do this, but we're going to do it slow, and we're going to keep one foot, you know, on the earth. Just don't go flying off into space, and, you know, nobody can reach you again. So we are trying to to stay grounded, to stay grounded, to not just float off into space. We're remaining skeptical if there's a expensive course, you know, attached to something. We don't investigate that, but, you know, it's just been, it's been, it's been far out, is what it's been. And no, I'm not going to the gas station and getting a little edibles, in case you're wondering. And as far as I know, not, nothing was wrong with any of the black bean burgers or anything with that. But it's been, it's been wild. And Loki's been actually pushing at me since this summer because we were starting to have stuff happening this summer to do that and I didn't want to and he's like why I said because most people that do this stuff turn out to be phonies or frauds or they're just a little crackers and I said I I don't want to be in that category because you know most of these people you know um especially as they age they um they are seeing a lot of people leave the new age and do a hard right into fundamentalism and i said i don't want that to be my path and he's like but i'm here you're fine <laughs> you know you i have the ballast of the norse gods that's the difference uh, most of the new age is getting kind of like super nebulous right now but we are finding good stuff we're finding the ufo stuff which he loves he loves the ufo stuff and you know the angel stuff and they're all into it like you know, you you still know Odin is Odin, but it's like he couldn't even remotely care about doing any of the, the heathen stuff anymore. It's like he wants to explore. And he's like, oh, you'll take me exploring. I know you will, so we're exploring. And he's doing pretty good for vegetarian. He likes his black bean burgers to the point where he asked me if um, Morningstar would be cheaper. I said, no, because it's cheaper for Patty. But I said, it's like 18 to $21 to get, get that delivered. I said, um, for that delivery price, I could go buy you two more bags and just sit it off handedly and so full look from the old man. So he, he has two more bags on the way. We'll do those once a week. We're trying to make the menu, you know, trying to get it to settle down a little bit, but trying to make it exciting. So cream of mushroom soup, vegan soups, black bean burgers, tuna for me and Loki, um, those those breakfast bars in the morning trying to keep it you know keep yogurt into the diet and you know there are going to be times he already has accepted this and it feels like all of our visiting friends have accepted this where they're kind and they understand they're like you're not going vegetarian overnight we know you're not so like thursday i'm going to try thursday and friday to keep up a vegetarian thing but the weekend has to be my release spell 
and they're okay with that. They're like, hey, you're doing it five days a week or you weren't doing it one day a week. <laughs> you know, they're like, yay, you're, you're, you're making it. So, you know, that's the plan. Five days a week veg and then Saturday and Sunday we can, you know, have turkey or chicken or ham or something, whatever's left in the house. And if we start to go every other week and we, I'm still thriving, then I'll be fine with that too. But, you know, we are concerned. We're watching my health, but yeah, we're having everybody come visit. I had, I had the weirdest encounter. I've had like ghost encounters. Oh my God. I had so many strange things happen. <laughs> okay. It's like, keep, keep going, keep going. I've had ghost encounters in my life. I've had, I swear I had a Bigfoot encounter a year or so ago. And those ex-friends, that guy was like into UFOs and he was into Bigfoot and everything. But there was just something really strange about that cat. Not like friendly alien trying to be a human, but just like weird. Not like the good folk either. Like far out, man. Like. Somebody made an imitation of a human and didn't do a very good job of it. Him and her. Like, I always would tell uh, Loki, I said, I expect them to just open their human suits and velociraptors to pop out. I, they don't just, they don't strike me as human. And I, I don't ever have that feeling off of any other people. I'm like, they don't strike me as human. Maybe he's one of the king vampires for all. I know, I don't know. I got, he'll be coming to see you. And I, oh my God, no, that would be scary. So if you guys like what you see and you don't want to unsubscribe, we already lost three people uh, over vegetarian Odin. Here go the rest of you. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you guys later. But yeah, we were supposed to talk about them evolving, but they definitely are evolving into that, into being into all that. So there you go. That's what they're evolving into. So we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.